So the eagle that we have in the sale, or the state's eagle to give it its proper title, um, is one of the highlights of American folk art that we have. Um, it was created in the early 19th century with the Declaration of Independence. There was strongly felt a need for, an, for a national symbol and lots of symbols were thought about and chosen very famously. It might be even an apocryphal story that Thomas Jefferson wanted a turkey, but the turkey didn't quite make it. The eagle, which was um, suggested by the, by the Pennsylvanian scholar William Barton, um, seemed a good choice. The eagle was um, a symbol of Jupiter, um, king of the gods, and the new nation looking to um, set up its, um, its country along the lines of the Roman Republic. Uh, interestingly, early images of, of the eagle in, in, for American um, iconography was, was a much more benign, almost gawky, immature bird. Um, but in late, later in the 19th century, the bald eagle, which is obviously much more heroic, much more masculine, uh, took over and is still that, that symbol today. I love the way the artist has really drawn it in a very two-dimensional way. It's almost a, a, a very sort of flat sense, a strong sense of design with the, eagle, with the eagle's wings and, and legs splayed out. I think it's charming. <laughs>